What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. We are here at opening day of Hershey Park. I am so excited to be back. It feels like we were just here in December for Christmas Candy Lane, but now we're ready for the 2023 season and I'm excited. Let's have an amazing day here at Hershey Park. So the line is about to get long. We have 45 minutes until the park actually opens and the lines are starting to form already, but I will say they do go fast. So don't be afraid because I've waited in lines all the way down there before, but it's still always good to get here early. So for opening day, I do think a lot of people are going to head to Pandemonium because it was closed in December and November. However, I think my plan is to head towards Storm Runner and Jolly Rancher Remix. So we'll see how this goes. All right, it's 11 on the dot. Here we go. All right, happy 2023 season. Woo! Let's go. So I think people are just kind of running to like their favorite rides first. I definitely would have loved to do Candemonium because we were like some of the first people in the park. However, I have not been on a good amount of coasters here in Hershey Park, so I want to try to get some of the ones that I've never done done. So we'll see. The first one is Storm Runner. This is where I met Santa. Check out my Christmas at Hershey video. That was so much fun. It feels like yesterday, kind of like December. Now it's April 1st. All right, so this way to Sky Rush, Comet, Super Duper Looper. We're headed this way to Jolly Rancher Remix and Storm Runner. Oh, look at these guys. They're cute. Hi. Chick-fil-A home. We'll get into all the food options and we'll definitely have something to eat. I want something to eat right after I get off this ride. So, oh, that smells so good. Eat more chicken. All right, we're still walking. That's the back of the park, but it's good because everyone's at the front of the park right now. You know what I mean? Hopefully. All right, we almost made it. So here's this new Jolly Rancher section with the mixed and the Jolly Rancher remix. It doesn't look like either of them are running right now. But here they are. Either it's not running or I'm gonna be the only one on this ride and I'm terrified. I don't wanna be the only one on this ride right now. I don't. <laughs> I was the first rider on Storm Runner of the 2023 season. How cool is that? I think this is my new favorite ride. Can't breathe. That was so much fun. So I didn't expect it to go that fast. It was like, boom. It was amazing. I got to go twice. I was the only single person in my train. That was amazing. I just like wasn't expecting it to go that fast. That was so fun though. It was so like high in the air. I'm like, Whee! the adrenaline rush in the morning. All right, I'm doing this Jolly Rancher remix. All right, next stop. Let's try this bad boy out. Woo, okay, now I'm sweating. But Jolly Rancher remix, I'm glad I did it. It wasn't as good as Storm Runner. Storm Runner is like my new favorite ride, I think. That was like so fun, but I walked on. I was like in the front row. It was so fun. I love Hershey Park. Okay, also they play really good music here. Oh, I got my little GoPro, look how cute it is. Um, they play really good music here. They're playing Taylor Swift. Now they're playing Florida Georgia Line. I love this place. I'm, I'm moving in. Hershey Park, can I live here? All right, so while it's a little empty, I'll show you some of the food options. This is like a big food zone. So we have Chickie and Pete's. This is home of the world famous crab fries. So it's not open actually at the moment because it's too early, but here's what they have. Burgers, crab fries. This is right by Storm Runner and Jolly Rancher Remix. Moe's Southwest Grill. If you want some burritos, nachos, tacos. 
Here is Subway, and they also have one of those card stations where you can convert cash to card because Hershey Park is cashless. You cannot use cash. So Subway, and then what's this over here? Ooh, cheesesteaks. Oh, I think I know what I'm getting. Hand-rolled pretzels and fruit smoothies. That has my name on it. They might as well just call it the Crystal Palace. And then right next to it is the Outpost, which is allergy-friendly, flavorful food. That's awesome. Barbecue chicken, turkey BLT, Southwest chicken, gluten-free wraps. This is great. Nice job, Hershey Park. I love that for you. And then, oh, hand-rolled pretzels. Um, I'm going to get an original. Original? I also really like these picnic tables, how they're different colors. It's very fun and happy-like. All right, here is that pretzel. Looks pretty good, buttery. Let's try it out, see how it is. All right, here's, here's Chick-fil-A. Yay! I loved the grilled nuggets from Chick-fil-A, so we got that with our pretzel. That should be a solid lunch. And of course, the Dr. Pepper. Cheers. All right, here we go, pretzel. Looks pretty good. A little hard on the bottom, but it has good flavor. Mm. Tasty. I like this. Crystal Palace approved. Yeah. Wait, so I'm still obsessing over Storm Runner. So apparently it goes 72 miles per hour in two seconds flat. That's amazing. That ride was so fun. How was that my first time on it? All right, that was delicious. Now let's walk around and see what else we can see and do here on opening, opening day. I'm having so much fun. This is such a great day. And the sun's coming out now. All right, guys, the East Coast Donut Truck. You know what this means. It's donut review time. Oh, well, I guess there's no donut review for me. The fryer's broken, so they can only do Oreos. I tried their Oreos, they're excellent though, so um, you can get Oreos, but no donuts for right now. It's really low crowds right now. Like, look at this pizzeria. It's pretty much lunchtime, it's 12.15, and there's not long lines at all. And it does look like they have mobile order available. As you can see, there's a mobile order pickup window. But this looks great, Dispatch Pizzeria, right by the boardwalk, so if you come in the summer, you can enjoy the boardwalk area and some pizza and then we have another tricky and pizza location as well and oh, look at behind it that's wildcat soon to be wildcats revenge the track is not even done yet look at that look at this part there's gonna be red track all coming up here as you can see this top turn here too looks like that's right where they stopped right here we're gonna walk around it see if we can get some good views oh there's the track that's so cool. All right, so here's some more of that track. <laughs> this is gonna be one wild ride, especially just being able to stand right here. You can see it kind of through the fence. I guess that's what they're gonna put up in there. Look at this, look at that turn. Wow, this is going to be some coaster. I like the red track because you can like really see where it goes. Like, look at that. I know they raised part of Wildcat too. I think that's on the back side, like facing the street. They raised it, they made it higher to make that turn like steeper. This twist right there is just beautiful. Look at that. Wow. It does seem like most of the rides are actually up and running today, which is awesome. It's beautiful weather out for opening day. The Ferris wheel is closed, however. All right, one more shot of Wildcat's revenge. What? How does that even, where does it turn? This is going to be one wild ride. I thought these were real. I was like, wait, what are these birds doing here? <laughs> All right, here's a line for Moe's. Looks like a popular option. I'm surprised by the lack of line here at Chicken and Pete's. I thought this was a way more popular option. Ooh, I smell that. It's cooking. Spring Creek Smokehouse. This is popular. This looks actually really good. I was going to get mac and cheese from here, but the line's a little bit long. So maybe, maybe later on. But I'm not that hungry yet. I still had a big lunch. Oh, look at this menu. Wow. Turkey leg, half chicken. Look at that monkey bread. Wow. This is nice. I absolutely just love how they have vending machines of milk too. 
That is amazing. It's probably so good. This is probably the best weather that we've had all year so far in the Northeast. It's absolutely beautiful out and it's just making this opening day even better because it's gorgeous. All right, we're at the entrance of Zoo America. Look at this nice little Hershey Park. So Zoo America is actually included in your Hershey Park ticket, which is awesome because you can go and walk and enjoy all the zoo animals. Come on, let's go. So what they do is they will stamp you that you came in through the Hershey Park entrance, but you can also come in from the street. So they'll know that when we come back, we were in the park and we have a park ticket. Zoo America is home to animals and plants from five regions of North America. My favorite are the bears. What are you talking smack? I think they like my green shirt. I blend in with them. Smack. All right, we got our eyes on the prize, Ula Bowls. We're gonna try you out. All right, so here's a menu. I think I'm gonna get the Great Bear Bowl. Yeah, that kind of looks good. Or the Ula Bowl. Okay, this looks delicious, actually. It's not as big as I was expecting for $15, but it's a healthy option. And sometimes you just want that, especially because it's cold. And it's really refreshing on a nice warm day. All right, this Ula bowl is really good. It's definitely enough for two people. Like, look how big it is. It's bigger than it looks, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot packed in here. It's really refreshing for, like, a nice hot day. I like it a lot. And it's, like, a nice healthy option. You don't feel like you're eating, like, fried food all the time. Crystal Palace approved. I'm not entirely sure what this pop star thing is, so we're going to check it out. Oh, it's close. We're not going to check it out. Sorry. <laughs> we'll have to come back in the summer and check that out. All right. So this area, Great Bear back behind us, Super Duper Looper. And I don't even think Sky Rush is running right now. But there's still a bunch of people in this area. So let's see what's going on over here. Oh, so it does look like, oh, look at Sky Rush. It goes up so fast. There it goes. Oh, look, they have a whole ski ball area. This park was like made for me. I love ski ball. All right, this caught my eye. It's independent brewing beer here. Look at this. This is pretty cool. It's local beer located in Hershey, Pennsylvania. I don't drink beer, but this is really cool. They have slushies here too. Huh, independent brewing. That's nice. There it is. Pretty cool. Pennsylvania's favorite IPA. All right, this is in the, like right next to the 1906 grill, by the way. Here on the Crystal Palace, we always have to stop in the Christmas shop because it's my favorite. You can get these personalized, which is really cool. Different prices and like, what well, is an example? Here, it's cute. Oh, finally a character. It's a Reese's bar. First tour right there over here. Nice little high five right over there. Okay, meeting Reese's was so fun. Let me know in the comments, what is your favorite Hershey's candy? Who would you like to meet? I met, I met Miss Swizzler at Christmas. And back in the day when I was younger and came here, I have a really cute picture with the Hershey bar. Look what we have here. Wildcats Revenge merchandise already. That is very exciting. This is going to open summer 2023. We don't have an opening date just yet, but they got the merch. And I am so excited for this. This is going to be awesome. This is a really, really cool shirt. And then they have some merch for the vintage Wildcat, the OG Wildcat. But let's try to find the 2023 merchandise so you guys can see what's new for the 2023 season. All right, so here's some of that 2023 merchandise. Snow globe. It says 23. A mug. A nice magnet. Here's some more magnets. Hershey Park 2023 shirts. Oh, that's a nice picture frame. Bottle. This looks like kids merch here. Very cute. They have a pin. 23. 
sweatshirts. So it looks like they are doing this like 23. That's the logo for the 2023. And shot glasses and glasses. Okay, Candemonium says it's a 60 minute wait. So I'm not gonna wait. However, I do love this ride so much. It's so smooth and it's such a fun coaster. Oh, it's actually, it says only 15 minutes, but on the app it says 60, so that's interesting. All right, so I was literally the next train to get on and of course the ride went down. It's unfortunate, I wanted to ride this, but maybe I'll hang out in the area to see if it's gonna start testing up and running soon because I really, really love this ride, but uh, it wasn't looking good. They had the maintenance guys come in and stuff. Oh, wow, look at this, they're taking him off the track. That's so cool. I would definitely say if you wanna ride Candemonium, wait till around like three o'clock. That seems to be the dull time because everyone goes right here first in the morning and then they'll go to the other rides, make their way to the back of the park. And then once everyone else is in the back of the park, you'll be in the front of the park riding Candemonium with a short wait time. So I wanted to say a big thank you to Hershey Park for hosting me today. We are about to go have dinner at the Chocolatier. Stay tuned for that video because that will be a separate video coming out soon on the Crystal Palace YouTube channel. What a fun day at Hershey Park. Honestly, I had a great time. Storm Runner, I was the first one of the season. You guys can tell your friends that. But yeah, that was a really fun time. We had beautiful weather, beautiful opening day. I'm excited for a fun summer at Hershey Park. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I will see you in the next one from Hershey, PA. Peace.